Good afternoon, this is Malik from Cobra Files and Friends. Today I'm with the man, the legend, the OG of Houston, Mr. Steve Rogers' Neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I call him that because, you know, it rhymes with that. So, Mr. Steve, why don't you tell them who you are and tell them um, your social media so people can follow you and stuff like that, all the events that you got coming up and the projects you're working on. Okay. Uh, All right. Yes. Name is uh, Steve Rogers. Uh, Instagram is the real Stevie Ray. Um, I uh, don't have a Twitter account, a Twitter page, or a Snap Snapchat page. I just kind of mainly uh, uh, hang out on Instagram mostly. Okay. Well, you, you need that, man. The, the yeah. Twitter is the, the is a powerful way to touch somebody real is fast. It? Yeah. Really? You know, like most of the people that I was trying to reach out to. Like King Jones, Vigil, if you send them something on Twitter, they, they hit you right back. Right, right. So, yeah, wow. so yeah, because Instagram, because a lot of people hit them, you know, and Twitter, because you at them as fast as you get at them. Gotcha. So, you, might, you might look into it, man. I may, you know? I may look into it as soon as, soon as we finish. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't even thought about Twitter. Uh, never, never have, really. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And same thing with, uh, I had Snapchat for a minute, but. I think it was too much memory on my phone. And, yeah, so. that, that, you know, nah, it's, it's not important. But the okay. IG and Snap, you know, it might be good for your image because who you are and stuff like that. So you gotcha. might yeah. maybe reach out maybe. and touch a lot of people and stuff yeah. like that. So what projects you got working on right now? Um, right now, we are uh, in the seventh month of opening uh, at the Turkey Lake. Right? Okay. Uh, that's over in Third Ward on Almeda. Uh, it's a great um, concept. It's a great brand. We bought into it. Um, this uh, married couple, uh, Lynn and Nakia Price, took a, um, a product that was sold traditionally at uh, rodeos and fairs, okay. uh, turkey leg, and kind of tricked it up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Added um, dirty rice to it, added um, uh, lobster mac to it, uh, Alfredo sauce and shrimp to it. Um, so it's really been going extremely well. Um, um, and I think that brand is uh, probably something, something that we can probably duplicate and, okay. and franchise a lot, a lot faster than other brands we've got going on. Because uh, me and my wife went there for the first time. Really? Yes, and uh, I didn't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so much money, yeah. And, uh, we we spent a lot of money. Okay. On, okay. on the okay. drinks because we get because we didn't know this was our first time, so okay. we got one turkey. Okay. And it was massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'm glad we just got one. One, yeah, know, yeah. But we spent more money on on, on drinks because the food was very great. Then we get some size. Size, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, so definitely she was happy about that. Yeah, and I, I uh, my favorite one is the uh, the Hennessy glazed stuff. Okay. Um, turkey leg, and I always say that I'm I'm just gonna eat half of it and yeah, eat it yeah, later, yeah. and and it just be so good. I just finish it all at one time, and then I'd be Guilty and mad about it. Okay, but, uh, so what's the address for Turkey Lake? Uh, Turkey Lake uh, Hut is uh, 4830 um, Almeda. Okay. Uh, that's over in the, the heart of uh, Third Ward, Houston. All yeah. right. Yeah. And any night scene? Any, any um, we have um, um, Engine Room okay. and Jet Lounge is our nightlife brands and concepts. Uh, we do a Thursday night thing with uh, Mr. Rogers, um, DJ Mr. Rogers. Uh, it's called No New Shit Thursday. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, related. Uh, you know. Not related. <laughs> 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 kind of came a yeah. few years before uh, DJ Mr. Rogers, but uh, okay. he's an incredible DJ. Uh, he's kind of the guy now to go to for all the clubs. Um, but we don't play any new new music on, on Thursdays. A lot of '90s and '80s vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. Um, that's Thursday night. Saturday and Friday is our um, geared more toward hip hop. Okay. You know, scene club scene late night scene um so um uh, but it's it's a new market out there you it know is. i know say we've been talking about where we initially met years ago yeah um so the the scene has definitely kind of shifted over the years in terms of how early people come out um uh, dress attire uh, i remember a time when we was doing tonic when we first started doing tonic tonic wouldn't allow you to come in with jeans on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was no denim allowed in, in, in tonic, um, and, and uh, a lot of places uh, didn't allow 
Sneakers. Sneakers, yeah. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I would, yeah, yeah, yeah you know. So that was that was a big thing. No no sneakers were allowed in, in most of the clubs. Yeah, but nowadays is is a sneaker. Yeah, yeah. Sneaker head, yeah, yeah. You can't so, uh, can't can't get can't I mean, you can that. dress nice and put sneaker on and, and, yeah. and look presentable, but you know what I'm saying? Because most of the clubs, if you say no sneaker, then you're losing a lot of points. Yeah. You know, and that was that was, uh, and back then that was our way of increasing the uh, the door cover. Okay. So if you came out of dress club <laughs> and had on sneakers or had on jeans or the tax uh, athletic wear, or white tee, we would charge more okay. and a lot of guys they would be like all right well we're just gonna pay more because we gotta we gotta rock our sneakers we gotta rock our athletic wear and during that time uh this was when the emergence of of uh the uh car and yeah and fat uh, fat form and Fubu, sean john, sean john. Yeah. so all the urban gear was uh was was coming into play uh and couldn't they couldn't get past it and it was such that culture was uh the hip-hop culture was, was such a strong uh, uh, influence on what was going on, the clubs had to, you know, so, accept it. So, you're such an influence in Houston. So, what's, what are we lacking that, we, you know, most major hits don't want to come here? Or what are we doing wrong as far as the culture, the lifestyle of Houston? Because we, we have developed so much from where we started right. with the start jeans. But, right. You know what I mean? But we are. Right. Right. You know, and so much people here that's very influential, like persons such as yourself, in you know, in different people. I think, you know, I I was kind of alluding to with the, how the how the scene has changed. You know, uh, now you know the, the clubs are so crowded and they come out so late, and everything is so driven by section and bottle service. <laughs> you know, uh, the fashion part gets lost into it. Yeah. A lot of I have guys who hit me up. Uh, to, Man, I need to do something that's a little bit more, you know, older, a little more grown, a little more sexy. They got, they got gear they want to wear. Yeah. They can't wear it. I, I mean, honestly, I got shoes and clothes that I haven't worn in, <clears throat> in months that have tags along them because I don't know where. Where, where to? <laughs> where not to wear to. <laughs> so that's the that's challenge. I think if we had more places that would be more diverse. Okay. Um, I think that's really uh, the onus is on the uh, club owners and promoters to kind of create something like that, be more diverse. Yeah. Uh, and we and we started out when we started doing uh, Belvedere back in 2006. Yeah. That was our whole thing. Was we wanted to, it was it was a uh, sexy vibe and uh, dress code. Yeah. And um, you know, that was, that was a hook on Sunday night. People got a chance to come out and, and dress up and kind of be fly, be seen, be sexy. And, um, you know, over the years, it just kind of went away. Went away. Yeah. yeah. And, I think, and I think it's just, you know, just an, uh, another generation of, of people. But I think there, there, there are still some people out there that are definitely uh, uh, influential in, 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 uh, in the city, influencers that can, that, can, that can make that happen. All right, cool. So... We 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 gonna follow up later on because we need to do some more fashion drinks. And yeah, fashion, yeah, you know? so yeah, yeah. We we this is the whole reason why we doing it. Yeah. We need because there's a lot of fly guys. Yeah. You know, people are wearing the same joints because right. you know there's nowhere to go, right. and, and you know you keep wearing the same shit because you don't you don't know and you don't know how to dress. And we had a we had a dinner man uh, about. Eight nine years ago, this guy named Kenny Burns, uh, lifestyle influencer. Yeah, uh, he was working with Grey Goose at the time, and he was launching this new flavor uh, of Grey Goose. And uh, I went and got um, a room at the uh, Ocean Hour Steakhouse. Invited about twenty people who I thought were style maker influencers. Okay. Um, Alan with Upscale High, yeah. uh, Q. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of good mix of people in there. It was kind of, we sat around and, and kind of talked about what we're talking about right now with, with fashion and, and style and what Houston is, is missing. And uh, I thought it was, it was a good opportunity. We didn't do a, a, a follow-up okay. on that next steps, but I know Alan went on to do this thing with Upscale Hype. With upscale Hype. Yeah, yeah, which is really dope. That's kind of my, uh, 
uh, guilty pleasure. I wake up every morning and kind of see <laughs> see see what's happening, see people wearing, click and see who, you know where can I get it. Okay. Uh, actually, Alan is the one. Well, his site is the one that kind of introduced me to fashion. Uh, to fashion on, okay. on, on, online. Fashion. Online fashion, yeah. Farfetch, Essence, yeah. Uh, all those all those sites, and uh, really, I haven't really been to inside a mall in a while. It's no point. No point. <laughs> you know, because it's, it's the way it's set up. Because I worked for Baton for for four or five years, mm -hmm. and, and basically, the way it's set up. It is not consumed for people like you and me mm -hmm. or Alan. Mm -hmm. It's for people that don't know fashion. Right. Because they keep buying the same joints or the same brand. Right. right. You know? Right. So that's why I, I, when, when I almost started, I knew about absolute hype. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. and, and people, again, look at him funny, like, mm -hmm. you know, and look at him now. Right. You know? yeah, yeah. 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 You know? So, yeah. The, this is the same yeah. basically concept, just yeah. a vlog, and, and you know, talk about what Houston can be right. if you push it. Right. Like, you know, one guy push it and right. see what right. how he's right. doing. You know? yeah. So yeah. we need more people. Yeah, yeah. We need a lot of people to right. push it and, and bring awareness of who we are. Absolutely. Stuff, you know? I agree. So, I agree. Speaking of sneakers, right. let's get right into because that, that's the that's the whole reason why I well, came. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of you know, ease like, into you that. Know, like, you know, just. To see you as well, but you know, we, we came for the for the sleep joint. So gotcha. Alright. Let me close. So Alright, so we're back again and as you can see, manga style, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know what this is, you need to get familiar with it. This is the McQueen joint. You know. It's very dope, it's very traditional. And you can dress it up, dress it down. So why why these McQueens, Joe? Um, you know, when I first saw the McQueens, it probably was about four or five years ago. Okay. Um, I uh, didn't really know much about uh, McQueen, uh, any of these designs, but they kind of reminded me of the uh, Adidas. Yeah. The look of it. Um, and uh, my first pair, I've had probably about five pair. Um, sold a few pair but my first pair was a pair of black ones and um when i got them home and got them in and, and tried them on it was like <laughs> all right uh you know the the uh design i like the big laces on them yeah i like the stitching on them you know um give you a little hype yeah uh, <laughs> you know a friend of mine joking me you know say you got your man heels on <laughs> give me a little you know a little they, extra they just hate it yeah yeah a little hype uh but i like you know they're real 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 tight fit on the on, on the feet uh uh i think my size uh of shoe also you know it looks real cool with some tapered okay. tapered jeans yeah. on you can dress them up and wear them with a suit i've had them on with with slacks, I've had them on with jeans, I've had them on with shorts. Uh, it's a pretty versatile, versatile sneaker. Yeah. So McQueen yeah. was your your first. I won't say my first, but uh, and what's interesting about the, the McQueens and this shoe in particular, also the uh, exaggerated sole on it. Yeah. Uh, my daughter, she was when I first wore them, she was like, "Daddy, you think you're probably too old, <laughs> too old for these." Yeah. Uh, and I wore them to the. Prospect Park. Uh, one of my partners was like, "Nah, man, that that, they, ain't, that, that ain't what's up." Yeah, but they uh, don't know. Yeah, they didn't know. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't know. Uh, but I mean, I I had I had uh, got another pair of white ones I wore uh, a few weeks ago during the playoff times at Prospect, and and I uh, probably got about ten people stopped me and signed the seat. Yeah, kind of wishing that kind of kind of shoes. Yeah. See, you see, yeah. the thing is, people don't get on. Yeah. See, put on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know yeah. that's yeah. that's all it always yeah. is because they're afraid to branch off and, yeah. and, and, and see what's out there. Yeah. And and this is one one of my dopest shoes I have. I have one with this one in neon green. Really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. And okay. then I, I bought it from Farfetch. Okay. You know, yeah. so like I said, you can go to the mall and buy with yeah, everybody, yeah. you know, yeah. gotta be different. You know? And that's, and that's, you know, that's the other thing I like about, I guess, online shopping, you, at, at the click 
of a mall so you can go and be in Paris shopping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Saying. Shopping yeah. and you're not going to see it. You yeah, know? And, yeah. And, and that's what I like about it. Because they don't send us the good stuff. Yeah, exactly. For for the mall. Because the thing is, you know, it's the brand because you shop for the brand. But, you know. You think it's, you think it's, the, you think it's the designers or do you think it's the buyers at the stores? It's the buyers. So when I was working for Bataan, New York get everything. Mm -hmm. Right. Vegas get everything, right. then California. Right. Then whatever's left, they just send it here to the top stores that's doing something. Gotcha. They're probably sending you one item to see how you do right. it. Right. So basically, when they, the buyers, they buy for the region, they don't buy Makes for, sense, right. you know. So yeah. that's, how, that's how it works. That works. So, yeah. Let's go for that next shoe. So once again, we back, and he got the, the shoe I'm not able to get. And I'm kind of upset right now because we're about to end this interview. <laughs> you got the off-white, the ones, you know, because you know, he's OG, so he's able to touch it, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody got the connect, you know what I'm saying? So how, how do you come up on this joint? Uh, a friend of mine who has a little, I guess, online boutique. Okay. Uh, was able to, you know, when something is about to drop, I'll just reach out to him and, and uh, he's able to get it. Pretty much guaranteed. So uh, I was actually uh, on the fence about these for a while, um, but had a chance to see somebody with them, with them on, with some different color color laces in them. Yeah. And uh, just the way that uh, it's Virgil. Yeah. yeah. The way Virgil constructed this shoe was uh, incredible. Did you saw his uh, his debut for Vuitton this morning? You know what? Dude, was it this morning? Yeah, yeah. Because what's crazy, I was on uh, Upscale Hype and I saw some pictures where uh, he was hugging Kanye at yeah, the end of, yeah. of the uh, You know, the it's, show. It's, a, it's a huge historic event that he did. Really? Yeah. He's, for time, hate black people. Right. I mean, not hate black people, right, but right. they will not employ a black right. creative director. Right. So, for so him, he's the first? Yeah, he's the first black person right. to okay. ever run the Baton House. So. That's amazing. That's why I think that's why he was so emotional. Emotional, yeah, yeah. I saw that video. When, when, yeah, yeah. When you saw Kanye, because yeah. you know they came up all together. So, so it was Kanye. It was uh, it's Kanye, Wyzer, Doncy, Franz Wood, Bentley. What about what, what, uh, Pierre God? What's his name? Uh, it, it's it's not um. Uh, is it Jared. Uh, Lorenzo. Uh, Pierre God is Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, because you remember they did the um, what's the brand? It was he, he had a brand before the off white mm -hmm. and, and it was very popular and he branched off with the off white and Don C also Don C worked for Jordan's he, mm -hmm. he yeah. made a lot of yeah, so yeah. so for him to be part of the like a fashion house, right. you know, that's 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 major. And also this is this is with the, the Jordan and what he's doing with yeah, that. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. it's crazy, it's different, you know, is is you know, is it's a dope concept yeah 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 he uh all of them uh i like it's, it's really a good fit it actually feels better than the original the originals really um uh, yeah the fit of it is, is is really really good yeah yeah really good i've i've been i've I had the um the tag on it okay um, you remove it you know what i just started to on these and the um what's them called stevie the Prestos? Oh, yeah, the, the Prestos, yeah. Yeah, Prestos, yeah, yeah. Um, kind of taking them off of it. Um, but um, I like I like the way they, way they feel. I like the uh, the branding on the side of yeah. them. I like the different color laces on them. Um, the deconstruction of them, yeah, it looks, looks really dope. And yeah, that, the, the, the whole deconstruction is yeah. that I think this will make the shoe what make it shoe, is, right. you know, because for, for, it's selling for, I think right now, is it uh, stock is it's selling for like almost five grand. Yeah, I paid. Yeah. I paid probably about sixteen for them, sixteen hundred dollars for them. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. So you 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 about your shoes. So if you want it, you can get it. You yeah, 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 yeah. I think. Um, yeah. I, with fashion, you know, I think if some you you want, you know, uh, you uh, should, should get it. Did you see the the white one, the off, all white one? I saw. I saw. I saw the all white. I saw the. Uh, he did a what. Converse also, mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, I saw a few of me done, uh, but this is my, for my Bar favorite. Yeah, it's Barcola. I think what one is. Yeah, you know, you know, and 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 his 
these off white are selling more than his original off white sneaker. Yeah, and, and I haven't and I haven't seen his sneaker. It's it's dope. Is it? Know, yeah, okay. it's dope, but it doesn't have the hype. Okay. I mean, people know what it is, right. but it's not as hype as these Jordan off whites. You know? I see, and and I I like what he's doing. Um, I like I actually like some of his fashion. Yeah. The only thing I don't <laughs> don't like about off white on the apparel side is the the heavy logo. Okay. The heavy branding of off white, the big yeah. uh, arrows. That's the thing that I don't like. I mean, and it's probably no maybe, it, maybe age deal with me, but I see some people rocking it, and it looks cool. But I just can't get into a big. Uh, it, it's too much, you know. You know, it, it got to be subtle. You know? <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I think that's what. I think uh, a lot of brands was going away from the logo, but now it's coming back. Yeah, see. You know? Gucci to all that, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I, I can't do Gucci. Can't do Gucci. Oh, I can't do that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, nah. I'm a Balenciaga, you know, Tom Ford oh, type of okay. thing. We just... Some, 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 some of the Gucci pieces... Uh, I, I think I would do the sneaker. Sneakers? Okay, yeah, I think I have only one pair of Gucci. Eh, whatever. All right. But my whole entire order, just one Gucci. Yeah. Because I can't... I mean, like, I, I like the new stuff, don't get me wrong, right. it's very dope, right. it's just that I don't want to be, you go out, you go and see about 20 dudes. That's what, in about six, five, six years ago, Gucci was, to me, was in a decline. It was. Decline, and I guess it just came out, came back maybe two years ago, but you're right. To me, right now, with fashion, with club, with, with internet, anybody can get it. Yeah. Everybody can go and get it, and, 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 I, and I always make it to these guys and, and I know it's not my stereotype but a lot of guys out of fifth war coming to they, no, well, they come to the club and, and, and you know what? I don't know where they come from. Let me take that back. No fifth war. We're we gonna edit we gonna, <laughs> edit, we gonna edit that one. I don't want to call from Jay Prince. <laughs> no, you don't you don't want that. Got call. But they they come, you know, and they got Gucci hat, yeah. Gucci shades, Gucci shirt, Gucci belt, and Gucci shoes and it just to me, that just cheapened the whole so, brand. When I was working in the, in, in the mall and I was working for that brand, well, my client was James, you know, Kareem Jackson from the Texans mm -hmm. and Monte Ellis. Mm -hmm. And I always, like, they always, like, when everything comes, send me everything. I say, no, I'm not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. He was like, why? You don't wanna make money? It's like, I'm trying to help you right. dress up. Right. When everything from head to toe the same brand okay. is, is childish. You know? Okay. So, <laughs> I, I, no, I introduced, yeah, yeah, yeah. I introduced Monte yeah. to um, to Saint Laurent. Okay. You know when the varsity jacket was very oh, yeah, heavy yeah, 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 with, yeah, the, yeah. with the shoes, yeah, and yeah. he had no idea. You know, yeah. it's not like he didn't know. He just didn't care yeah. to look anywhere else because he's like baton baton, and and you honor from people like that, yeah. and they're just like, okay, well, I just I, I trust this is whatever he sent me because I used when stuff come. I should just box it and ship it. Right. And I had his credit card, and I go to Saint Laurent or different brands and buy his stuff because I had all his sizes to ship to. Right. And and he he was mind blowing for me because he's like, oh wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody, yeah. Ever, you know, because yeah. because the way of salesman is like, okay, I work for this company, I'm trying to make as much money because about it, you know, it burns out. Yeah. Because you know, you get tired of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you turn up. Educating different stuff, you're like, okay, I'm gonna stick with this dude as long as I can because he knows, so, yeah, you know. Yeah. So that's what that's what uh, and that's what upscale hype did for me, also. I wasn't heavy on buying uh, one logo from head to toe, but just didn't know about the other brands out there, yeah, yeah. And uh, with, with Allen and with uh, you know, Adi, yeah, yeah, Adi, yeah, yeah, they LeBron and Balenciaga's, all those stuff, all those brands, uh, definitely kind of, kind of turned me on to all that stuff. Alright, we'll the, the shadow box. Shadow box. So now with these, man, it, it seems like they're doing uh, something different with the uh, the leather. Yeah, they they, they change the leather. Change leather. Yeah, yeah change the leather. Softer. Yeah, it's a lot softer than the, the old ones because the old ones you can even it's kind of hard to, yeah. to bend it bend or it, yeah. walk. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they they redo the whole leather and it's softer and it's. This is actually a good yeah 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 yeah. So, like, this is one of my favorite favorite uh, favorite colors. 
the shatterboard. Yeah, yeah. He's also. Well, well, maybe you get these uh, colors instead of the. Actually, I got both of them. Okay. Um, but this was just um, when I put them on. I guess when I first saw the new, I guess the, the new leather on them, it just kind of got my eye, and, and I kind of fell in love with them, and uh, they kind of went with everything I was wearing. Uh, I wear a lot of black uh, now, a lot of gray now. That's some denim. I think um, it, it comes in age. Yeah. You start changing your stuff around. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah. A lot of black yeah. uh, closets. Is gray it? and black. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. Know, yeah. <laughs> I'll give him all the colors to my mind. I have a 15 year old, so he get a lot of design that, stuff. Okay. And he have no idea where he's getting. Yeah, it. yeah. And I see him wearing and abusing it. I get angry. Really? Yeah. Because I spend a lot of money yeah, with yeah. him. Because I don't do colors anymore. You yeah, know, yeah. Black and white. Black, yeah, 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 so yeah. I think it, it comes with age, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, this pair, and I got a pair of the, uh, they, they dropped about three months ago, they uh kind of the gray and black. Yeah. Yeah, as long as I wear like every day. Every day. And actually, I need to get a, probably another pair of those, because those are kind of somewhere else. Did you get the the ones that came out with the, the split in the You middle? know what? I was, I had them on deck. Uh, <laughs> I had them about to uh, ship to me. And I thought they was a little bit too tricky, you know. And I didn't get them. Okay. See, I was on the fence too, right? Then when I got them and I put it on with all black, I was happy about it. Really? Yeah. Cause, cause I was afraid that I'm just gonna sit in my closet because it was too much for me. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, when, yeah. when I got them and I put it on, the black denim and some okay, t-shirt, okay. you know, dress okay. up. Okay. It, it was. I'll maybe, it, it did it for me. I'm maybe yeah. revisiting. <laughs> I'm maybe revisiting that. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm glad I got it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so yeah. I should go wear it tonight to, to the to the show. To the, to the show. Yeah. I think so. I may revisit that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I, I'm a fan of the ones. Yeah. Ones, two, three, and four. You know, and the elevens. You know. So yeah. 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 So I uh I have probably only two pair of elevens and uh the ones um. One just came out about two last month. With uh, Travis Scott drink. Uh, those levels are the tens. Which ones the um? The ones that came out. Uh, uh, the cap and gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The, the, the levels. levels yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was gonna get those, but I, I, I like the ones with the red, the red bottom. bottom yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. You, you wasn't a fan of the Travis, Travis Scott. I think. I think. Again, I think you know. I've been thinking about age. You know, I'm thinking about it. If I'm out there, it's gonna look too yeah, too out there. Yeah, yeah, man. I, and and uh, yeah, I had those on on the hand. Yeah. I was supposed to go pick it up from the store, and I was driving. And I was like, "What's the point? This is like blue, blue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't have anything blue. It's not even. I don't have. I just yeah." I, I can't do it. You yeah. know, it was, it was so, I was like, why am I going to put these powder blue joints on for you? Know That's what I, mean? what I look at. I mean, yeah. and, I, and, and you're probably, probably saying, well, you got all these sneakers in your closet and, and, and you, have, you have a son. Yeah. I have a daughter and I wish I could pass on a lot of this stuff to somebody, the clothes and, and, and the shoes and all that. Because uh, a lot of stuff is just only worn maybe what? once or twice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it just after that it just kind of sits there. All right, so yeah, sure. All right, what's in this joint? See, you know, if I send you a script of questions, we'd be done by now, right? Yeah, like I say, I ask you questions, then we go, then we move.